If you have a young patient who passed out and is now in your acute care setting, you're gonna get that ECG. And on that ECG, if you see high voltage without stiletto Q waves, this could still be a red flag for hokum. So listen to this clip to see if you can learn a little bit more about how to spot this rare and life-threatening diagnosis. So think about large QRS complexes, large amplitude complexes. When you see large amplitude complexes at a young patient, Sometimes that can be due to just body habitus if they're really thin, but you ought to at least think, could this be hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? I don't expect to see left ventricular hypertrophy in a 20 or 30 something year old. So maybe that could be what's going on in this patient that just had a recent syncope. And look for narrow Q waves, especially in the lateral leads. These are sometimes referred to as dagger Q waves. So the lateral leads, one, AVL, V5, V6, if you see narrow Q waves, meaning like less than one small box, so less than 40 milliseconds, in that distribution, the lateral distribution, and large QRS complexes, think about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy.